Well, I know that I got a couple thumbs down on my video that's reviewing this 1820 MFJ uh, antenna. Um, but it was a test that I did with digital modes, and I will stand by what I said. It, it stinks for using for digital modes because it picks up all the noise from everything around it, including the computer that you can connect to it, regardless of if you use a good uh, digital uh, communication adapter or not. So it's worthless for digital modes. You can thumbs down the video right, as much as you like, good. but it isn't going to change the fact that the product stinks for digital here. modes. Um, this is what it is. You have to have a ground uh, a wire for your ground plane. Um, and it just is, it picks up too much local noise and it's just not going to work. However, I did make the comment in my video that if you're using it for voice or code, CW, uh, it should be fine because you're not going to have a computer source nearby to create noise that's going to pick up. I have to say it does pretty decent for receive, that much is certain. Um, well, probably not great, great, but I mean, it does, it does seem to pick up just fine. Um, uh, I'm not comparing it to any yeah, other antenna yeah. at this point. I'm well, just, I know what other antennas do. And, uh, uh, let me just see if yeah, this guy can hear me. Up and down, and, uh, I was hoping it would be more up than down. When it goes down, it stays down a pretty good long time. It's, uh, it's just not cooperating. Not unusual for the sunspot activity that we have. All right, now but I'm at five signal, watts. There, you got good audio, and, now uh, I'm going to see if this guy can hear me. I wish I could hang around here longer, but there's just too much Jason. KE0 LCS. Let me check my SWR. KE0 LCS. That's the other thing I don't like is you do have to screw with this cable. So my SWR is a little high. Let me look, shorten the cable up. KE0 LCS. That's a little better. So I just shorten, I just bundle up the wire a little closer. KE0, that made it worse. So we do it. KE0 LCS, that's three, three notches. He's not hearing me anyway, so that's why I'm not worried about interrupting. KE0 LCS, okay, SWR now is perfect. This is what I had to do with the cable. So I just originally had the cable all the way out, and the SWR was like four or five notches. I pulled the cable all the way in, the SW, or about right there, the SWR went down to about three notches. I pulled it in a little more, and the SWR bunched up a little more. The SWR jumped up to high, high. So then I just pulled it out until I got the SWR where I needed to be. And now, you can see, if you can see that, KE0 LCS. KE0 LCS. And as you can see, now we have the SWR is not even peaking. And we can see if I go to my power level, KE0 LCS, I'm pumping out the full 5 watts. Hopefully you can see that. Let me see. KE0 LCS. So that's the whole 5 watts. Of course, he's saying he can't hear anybody, so this may today not be a fair test of this antenna. Uh, but that's what's involved if you want to get the SWR right. You're going to have to monkey with the tech okay. I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather just set an antenna up. Maybe uh, one of the antennas I'm going to try is, is, is a magnetic loop. Seems like that might be a little more forward. And, 
Seven three. KG five. I'm gonna just see if he can hear me. KE zero LCS. Now he's saying he can't hear anybody unless they've got 1500 watts. So the bands are probably really, really bad. And so I'm not going to give this radio, this antenna, and this review today, my update with this antenna, I'm not going to diss it. Um, but like I say, it doesn't matter if the bands were good or bad or otherwise. Uh, when I tested it for digital mode, it just picks up too much local noise to even use your computer near your radio. So it wouldn't matter if your bands were wonderful. You can't use it uh, for digital mode. It's just, it, it's just too susceptible to, to RFI. Um, but it, it does seem to do okay with KE0 LCS. It does seem to do okay for receive when you don't have other local noise sources. Um, and it is kind of a pain, but you can adjust your ground plane and get your SWR down to to basically one to one or whatever. You can't really tell on the 817, but pretty good. Um, we're just a little mucking with the cable, and so that's not a huge problem. Um, and uh, when you don't have any local noise sources, like a computer sitting next to it, it does okay on receive. So if nothing more, it's actually a decent receive antenna and it compacts down really kind of small. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna get a good test on it today. I haven't, I don't have a 100 watt radio up. I should, should the next time I test this at home, right now I'm in New York. Actually, I'm in Pennsylvania at our timeshare. Isn't it beautiful out here? We've got a nice little creek right down there. Little, little, little tiny creek. Isn't that pretty? Oh, incidentally, on my GH5, a few adjustments. Uh, touch screen for run and gun, I don't like it, so I disabled the touch screen. So, um, every time I was going to pop out the, the screen so that I could see it, when I'm holding the camera facing me, I'd end up hitting the display and all that kind of stuff. So, for me, the touch screen feature actually is a pain. Uh, you can actually do everything, from what I can see, you can do everything without it. Um, so maybe there's some features I'm not aware of, but I think, personally, I think touch screens are highly overrated, just like they are on the Windows computers. It's like, my daughter has a Windows laptop with a touch screen, she hates it. It just, it just, it, it serves no purpose. She hates the touch screen part, because, I mean, as you bump your screen, you adjust your monitor, it, it, it's just a pain. Um, I think touch screens are highly overrated unless you have something that actually needs it. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, so far I'm liking the GH5. I'm going to see how the footage comes out on this. Hopefully it's not all garbage for this trip. Um, anyway, no one's else on this channel. KE0 LCS calling CQ. Can anybody hear me? And the answer would be no, because let's assume the bands are really, really just bad today. Again, uh, I'll do some tests on 100 watts. Well, that wouldn't be fair either, not 100 watts. I need to get home and set up my inverted V 20 meter uh, over a branch like I did just a couple months ago and see what happens and see if people can hear me. Um, let's go ahead and go through here a little bit and see what we can hear. It's really too bad this antenna doesn't work very well for digital modes because when you don't have your computer to uh, cause interference and you can hear, you can tell it's... I mean, it, it does... Digital modes... <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that are actually pretty clear. Like, if you go to... That's uh, uh, JT65. I forgot what it's called now. J, but here's uh, FT8. This is all those people communicating on FT8. I mean, but if you hooked your computer to this right now, all you'd hear is noise. It would just, you wouldn't be able to hear anything because it just pick up your computer. Um, there's code.
So we are going to go hiking, so I've got to go ahead and put this away for now. Um, but I'm going to try maybe Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to be here for a couple weeks. Not a couple weeks. A couple till the 6th of October. Um, so I'm going to play with this more. And uh, the next time you see me in this video, it's going to be a couple days later. And hopefully I'll be able to try some code, CW. Um, the last time I tried CW, no one heard me. Um, but again, in all fairness, it could be the bands. I really need to, if no one ever does hear me, I need to really test this when I have the inverted V up as well. So I can do a side-by-side side, side side comparison on this radio to see if no one really can hear me. And maybe just five watts isn't good out. But, uh, so I can't, I can't give a rate as to how well this is really going to do with five watts. I'm not expecting a lot, um, but uh, I mean, we'll see.